Hello and welcome to another episode of the Able Knife Insider Tips. Today I want to show you how you can mini map an audio clip to play it tonally. This is not a new feature, it actually exists since around Live 2, but it's not documented anywhere, so unless you stumble upon it by accident, you probably don't know it yet. So for this, we need a MIDI keyboard, drum pads would work as well. I've got a MIDI keyboard here, and then we go into the live preferences on the MIDI sync. And then we have to make sure that under the input for the MIDI keyboard, remote is turned on. Otherwise we can't MIDI map it. Close that, go into the MIDI mapping mode and choose the clip. And now I can press a key on the MIDI keyboard to map it. But this one will actually determine the root note of what we can play. And now if I keep the key pressed, I can press a lower and a higher note and that will determine the range. So C3 will be the root note. So the clip playing in the original pitch and then you can go higher and lower within that range that you've mapped. You can of course map the whole range however you like. If we just normally play the clip, that's the original. And now what we can do is play it on a MIDI keyboard. So. And as you can see, it actually is controlled by the quantization setting. So it's best to go into the launch quantization, clip quantization settings. And here it's set to global. In this case, that would be one bar but it's better to actually do it in a clip. So we could set it to none or to some small values. Or if you wanted to play the whole clip, then you could set it to four bars as well. And now try again. So this is the, for me, is the best method. What we can also do is you can map the root node to, for example, the lowest key and then just set the highest as well. And now C2 is the original pitch and you can only go higher. And the opposite works as well. So we can just map C4 and C2 in my example. This of course works for both warped and unwarped audio clips and uh, make sure that you've set the right warp settings as well. In this case tones might be good as well. Or I could just unwarp it and show it to you. There you can actually hear that if you go higher, it would be a shorter sample and the lower you get, the longer the sample becomes. So let's put the warping back on and I'm going to change back to the original mapping that I've shown you with C3 as the root node. Make sure that you always keep the keys pressed because otherwise it's overwritten. And then when I play it, you can also see in the sample box under transpose that the value changes where it is. So basically, you just change the transposition. And because of this, you can also record it into the arrangement view. So we can just maybe choose a count in, two bars is fine, turn on the metronome and then global record. And then we can just record it. And then as you can see, it's been recorded and we can play it back. And when you look into the clips and you see here, transposition minus seven, plus five. And there you go. 
what's actually getting mapped is not the clip itself, but the clip slot. Which means that, for example, if I just move that down here and add another audio clip here, then you can see when I go into the MIDI mapping mode again, that the clip slot is still mapped the first one. And now we can just play the first clip. So you can also just replace the clip with others to do the same thing with other audio clips. But be aware that if you map a certain range or your whole keyboard, then those notes that are within that range can't be used to play any other MIDI instruments in life anymore. That's it from me. I hope you liked the tip and find it helpful and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.